Mandalorian. Um, episode two of the Mandalorian. It was pretty good. Um, it talked about a lot of like it did the classic um, show thing it always does. Um, they kind of play it safe, um, but I um, I learned a lot of new things. I learned a lot of new things about the show that I, that I did mention episode one. That um, it was like sci-fi western. If you see a whole like him being in the desert, him being like you know just traveling by himself, it feels like an old western thing. Um, the ship he traveled in um, was called the the Razor Crest. Yeah, there's, there's some cool notes, um, but let me see, uh, and then, um, apparently that the Star Wars, the Star Wars saga was influenced by Western, the, the Western genre, like I mentioned before, um, so it's like, I guess it's gonna be going a lot of, over a lot of that being the westernized um maybe somebody might do something like, like red dead follow red dead because red dead is a really good show um yeah no red dead is really good um game game genre of the whole western shooter we could follow that but that make it as, as much dark as it is because the whole red dead thing is like pretty dark um, yeah, um, and George Lucas had ideas for his movies that were ahead of their time, so I'm guessing this is like a whole new thing he's doing, George Lucas, and maybe he's like, you know, pick a new thing. Um, well, what? I just finished watching the show like an hour ago, um, um, for like the beginning, there was a lot of walking. There's a lot of, you know, dry air, or like dead, or like, not really dead air, but like a lot of things happening within the whole thing. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Just a, But the whole genre thing, I feel like, with the whole Western thing, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, but like I mentioned episode one, I'm not really a huge fan, but it's getting me into it. Um, and uh, when I first started off, you could see Joe Yoda um, Jr. was like, you know, watching um, the man, the man, the Mandal Mandalorian, Mandalorian fight with all these guys. It was pretty cool, like. It was, it was like cool action, but I like the ending. They always have that with the fights that I don't see. There's like a fight, a scuffle, and in the end, there's like something crazy that happened. And uh, I really like that. Um, but yeah, uh, I like the whole thing they're doing. With the whole... Crazy action in the last guy. Cause the last one, the whole, you know, warping thing, chopped him up. Um, I don't remember what happened in that fight when he was fighting all those guys before. Um, but yeah. He was fighting two guys and like Yoda's, Yoda Jr. I'm gonna call him Yoda Jr. Baby Yoda Jr. was like watching him fight. And it's cool. I guess he's like kind of adapting. What if that's Yoda's grandson? That'd be cool. But yeah, he was like watching him do all that. And guys, someone comment below. Is is a Jedi Master chosen by like something like um like something like I guess like, if I don't know you guys watch the second time, but something that's passed on throughout a generation or is it something that just random? Um, Yoda Jr. is witnessing the fight. 
And like afterwards, I think he tried to leave Yoda Jr. He's like running after the ship, and he was running after the ship. And the, what was it called? The Javas? Got it, got him. Like kind of like, kind of like took him down. Pretty cool. Um, and then they stole his weapon. And what I realized, but the whole thing is the production. Like, the production is insane. Insane, like, I, I can only, I can only imagine how much, I remember H3H3 production was talking about, with his group about how, I think it was like 15 million, I believe. Around that ballpark, 15 million, I was like, damn, son, that's insanity, 15 million. Um, they, the, the Javas, they stole the weapon, and then, <laughs> so, um, what's his name, the Man Mandalorian made a, um, met up with the guy, again, forgot his name, with the weird mask. And like, it was pretty good. Uh, he met him, and then he had a discussion. I was like, oh, I know who you can meet with. You know, with these guys that will give you parts for your ship. And so these guys are like, hey, yeah. He's like, he's like telling the guy, hey, I don't think I can really get it because I, I kind of tried killing one of these guys for the ship, you know. And, um,. And he was talking about the ship, and um, and yeah, he made a trade with he made, he made a trade with the whole um, Java Java guys, and um, the whole trade was to um, to get to get shot. Um, the whole trade was to um make the make it to the guys um make it to give him the trade to the javas to give him the weapon I'm sorry um but yeah to give him the weapon so he can get the parts and get his back his weapons and so he wants to find this rhino beast thing that looks like a grizzly bear a white grizzly rhino. That's, yo, the animation is so beautiful. Wow. I was so surprised, yo. That show has huge potential. I feel like it's still kind of light, you know? But man, I'm so, I, I'm so happy to be living around this time. Like, it's such a good show right now. That's such a, I have high potential for it. But yeah, um, yeah. Okay. The Rhino Beast looks sick. It looks oh man. And uh, the I guess he was trying his hardest and like wrapped it off his hardest, you know, thing. So the Rhino was like charging at him and um Yoda Jr. he's like he used the force to control the Rhino and just left him and threw him on the floor. Then he did the uh, then uh, the Mandal Mandalorian just did the final blow, just stabbed him, and I thought that was pretty cool. Man, that show is so, like, man. But yeah, Yoda Jr. forced the uh, Rhino to stop the uh, Rhino Bees, and then um, right when the Javas, they was about to, you know, leave because they were not get impatient, and, um, he was like, you know, he did it that whole, you know, oh, he's not gonna make it like the whole Dragon Ball Z thing when um, you think Goku's not gonna arrive at the last time. But, you know, the minute Frieza looked for that last punch and then comes on and then just stop the punch. Like, no, I didn't do that, you know. But yeah, uh, that was cool, I guess. It was alright. He gave him the egg and like the job was just like this. I thought that was pretty cool how you, they just sliced it off. Um, yeah, and they just like was in and out of it. 
like a freaking yogurt, whatever it was. I wonder if it's little people in that, in those costumes, or was it, um, um, freaking the little people or little kids? Because they don't, they don't look, because, you know, little people, their bodies, like, like, more stubby looking, but the way they move, I don't know. I don't know, but it'd be cool to find out. I would to kind of find out from research. But yeah, I thought the episode was really good. Um, but I have high hopes for this because this show is it's making a lot of impression. You know, I thought, and it's like kind of like. Um, yeah, it, 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 um, I was reading this article right now saying that um, the man, the man, the man, Mandalorian, um, episode two offers a fun but forgettable filler with mission. Um, I mean, obviously, like they, all, they, they was kind of like being light with it, you know, the whole thing. But you know, I thought they had potential. Um, but yeah. I mean, the show is second episode two, and people are talking about it. It's 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 Disney, of course, you know, Disney. You know, can't mess with Disney, but yeah, a lot of people talking about episode two. Yeah, I'm looking forward to episode three. Hopefully, it's gonna be going back to the main story. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping. And I hope you guys enjoy this. This is. So getting comfortable with this whole new thing, but I enjoy doing this. Um, but yeah, the Mandalorian episode two review live reaction. I'm liking it. I'm liking this whole thing. Tell me what you guys think overall um, of episode two. Your favorite parts. Your favorite sequence. Your favorite production like thing going on. But I'm excited. And um, hope you guys enjoy. Bye.